of mine uh, named Gabriel Rhodes. Uh, some of you know him as Kimmy Rhodes' son, but uh, great producer, great guitar player. I play in this band uh, whenever I'm in Austin called The Resentments, and it's the longest running residency ever in Austin history. It's been going on since, I think, 97. <laughs> and uh, Stephen Bruton, late great Stephen Bruton, started it. And uh, I was asked to join about 14 years ago when he passed. And uh, uh, he had throat cancer, it was really sad. Um, but uh, his spirit lives on, we do his songs a lot. And it's really great, because it's like, you know, um, what was the name of the band that you said? Fantastic Cat? Oh. Fantastic Cat. Fantastic Cat. It's kind of like that in that there's a, you know, songwriter is also a side person who's also a producer, and then another one, and another one, and another one, and we just trade songs. No rehearsals, just show up, and if you can't hang, then you can't be in the band. Which is most of Austin rehearsal, for better or for worse. But, uh... Every time, because uh, I live in a different country now, and they still won't fire me, <laughs> I offered. I was like, don't you guys want to get some? No, we're good. No, so, all right. Um, they just do it with less people when I'm not there. But um, when I'm out of town, sometimes my friend uh, Gabe will sit in, and he said, man, he's like, I go and I play with the Resentments, and, and like I don't have any songs. Like, you get people dancing, you know? And I was like, oh, let's write some songs. And he's like, what, what do you mean? What, like, kind of, what do you mean? And I was like, let's write that kind of song for you right now. He was like, right now? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> so we sat down and uh, I like, you know, um, I get asked a lot in interviews and stuff about songs. I don't care where they come from. I don't care if they come from a ver verse. I don't care if they come from a melody. I don't care if they come. Sometimes I write with nothing, like a legal pad. Sometimes I'll pull over at the side of the road because I don't want to lose it. I sing into my voice memos. I have notepads with tons of song ideas. I don't care. As long as I get something, I'm thrilled. And uh, the one thing I do love to do that works for me a lot, especially in this kind of situation, is like I'll pick a beat to a song that I really like, and I'll talk to them. I'm like, what do you like? Like, what do you wish? You know, I was writing a song with my friend uh, Pat Byrne, and he was like, I love Levon Helm. And I was like, oh, perfect put on the weight and transcribe the drums, and then we just started writing. And then I just do the dishes. <laughs> Song's bound to come out. So we put on this beat to, I think like an old Lee Dorsey or like an Alan Z song or something like that. And we started writing this song. It was originally called Coat Check Jenny. But sometimes your audiences pick your song titles for you. You guys know that Guy Clark, when he was around, he would wait to call his song titles because the audience would come up and they'd go, I love that song about the cape. And he'd go, you mean the cape? You know? And then he'd know what the name of the song was. And I'm like, it's a genius, because we always try, like, if I called this song Coach Check Jenny, you wouldn't know, you know? But anyway, maybe we'll, I don't know, we got some singers in here? Anybody like to sing every once in a while? You don't have to be good. Just do it for fun. All right, cool, cool, cool. We'll have a bass section and a baritone section. Anyway, we wrote this and he went and he did it with the resentments and then I was like, yeah, I'm going to record that now.